Hello, Windmill friends. I come to you at a very sad time. We're taking apart Windmill 21. Things weren't working out between us. You know, we, we had our issues, we had our good times and our bad times, but for right now, we just need some space. There have been some problems in our relationship, and uh, a lot of that has to do with weight <laughs> for both parties. So I've had some epiphanies about the hardboard. At first I was excited because I thought maybe I'd go to Home Depot and get the hardboard that was the right size that I am rightfully entitled to. So I did go to Home Depot and I was going to try to get the right sized hardboard. And I told the guy that they gave me the wrong size and he said, well, where is it? And I said, well, I, I cut it up. And he goes, well, why did you do that if it was the wrong size? And I was like, well, I didn't know it was the wrong size. I didn't expect you guys to give me the wrong size. And he goes, well, where is it? And I was like, I cut it up, I didn't bring it. And he was like, well, why didn't you bring it if you were gonna return it? And I was like, cause I didn't think you guys would want it back. And he was like, okay, well you need to bring it back if you want to, you know, to get the right size. And I was like, so you want me to bring in like 30 sheets of hardboard in all different sizes? And he was like really mean to me about it. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. But after that traumatic event of the rude Home Depot worker, I started thinking about it. Even if we were to take off a third of the weight of this turbine, it still wouldn't be, I don't think, enough to make this turbine better than my other ones. And here's why. I was watching a video by Robert Murray Smith, and he, I love him very much, by the way, shout out, Robert Murray Smith, his channel is awesome. But I was watching a video of his where he started talking about windmill designs where they use a raid system. And if you don't know what that is, I, I recommend you watch his video. He'll do it just as better than I do. But it comes from computing. It stands for a re redundant array of inexpensive disks. And so the whole thing is, if you have a hard drive that's very you know, precious, it's got a lot of important data on it, right? All of your windmill designs are on that hard drive and you don't wanna lose them. Well, the risk of any particular drive going bad is never zero. And so rather than you know, making, trying to optimize hard drives so they never go bad, instead what they do is they have several disks inside the hard drive that are all redundant. And if your hard drive starts going bad, you can change out those disks and it doesn't cost very much and you can save the, the whole of the hard drive by replacing cheap components. And so I started thinking about how that applies to windmill. Well, actually I didn't, he, he started explaining how that uh, relates to windmills. And so I started thinking about it. What are, well, there's a lot of problems with windmill 21 in its current state. And I will go through many of them right now. It's extremely heavy. And when I first started making it, I, I thought to myself, well, maybe the added rigidity will make it, you know, collect more, I don't know what I was thinking, but in my mind, that's kind of what I thought is maybe it will be improved efficiency by no bending or warping, I don't know. In my mind, I was thinking maybe that'll help. I think it was more wishful thinking and rosy glasses, right? And I think that was why I was so disappointed by the performance of Windmill 21 too. So I started thinking about, okay, in principle, what makes a windmill spin? Well, there's only one formula, right, that we use for everything, force equals mass times acceleration. But in this case, we don't really care, well, we do care what the force is, but we can't control it, so I'm not gonna, you know, I don't wanna solve for force, I wanna be solving for acceleration because that's the thing that I care about. So acceleration equals force divided by mass. Given that this turbine is like five times heavier, I started thinking, best case scenario, we get a fifth of the acceleration, right? Which is pitiful. I mean, that's horrible. But then I started thinking, well, you know what? I need to be using this to my advantage. So how can I get five times the acceleration from, you know, the previous version, the plywood version? Make it out of foam, right? I used to make foam windmills all the time. And then I stopped and I got to all, uh, I don't know, I started thinking I was better than that when I started working with wood. I started thinking foam, that's for people that don't own a jigsaw. And I own a jigsaw. But now I'm thinking, especially, oh, this is why I brought up the raid thing is to, is to get to this point. Foam is the cheapest material there is. Even the hardboard wasn't, I mean, it, it was cheap, but it wasn't nothing, right? And foam is, is definitely much cheaper than hardboard. And here, oh, 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 more problems of Windmill 21, right? This, this all comes to a point, I promise. I'm just kind of bad at getting to it sometimes because I just, I just be talking, right? The, another big problem with Windmill 21, the hardboard one, is that I was terrified, okay? I was mortified going to bed that I was going to wake up in the morning and it was going to have killed my neighbor's cat or their kid or the neighbor or you know, destroyed a balcony. I mean, the thing is huge, right? It's like dropping a weight off of your balcony. It's just, it's just the worst case scenario. It's just enormous and heavy. I, there's nothing that could go well if that falls off. And not to mention my windmills have, you know, my neighbors already know me for doing whatever the heck he does up there and having random debris falling from the, falling from the top floors at all times. So I didn't want to ask, I mean, my neighbors have been very gracious in not like reporting me to the complex for all of the stupid things that I'd be doing up here. 
So I started thinking, it's in my best interest. It is very much in my best interest to not piss off my neighbors more than I already have. I think most, mostly they're very nice and they, you know, I don't think they're gonna be pissed off easily, but I don't wanna push it, right? Okay, so we have my fear of damage, cost, the accelerational benefit from it being much lighter. It seems like there's a lot of reasons. Oh, ease, ease to work with, I'll put that one up there as well. I mean, the wood wasn't that bad if you have a jigsaw. Not everybody has a jigsaw. Built different, I guess. I'm just better than everybody. But seriously though, a big goal in, in my projects always is making things that other people can repeat, that other people could emulate and make themselves or, or could modify themselves, making, making this more accessible to everybody. So I think using foam board is another big way to do that. So what I'm gonna be doing tonight and probably tomorrow is cutting foam sheets and just trying it out. I'm a little hesitant, again, still, because it, it kind of feels like I've moved past this. It seems like there should be better options. But I'm also starting to think that maybe foam board is the nerdy girl with glasses and her hair up that, uh, you know, maybe she'll let her hair down and, and show me some things that I didn't know about windmills. I can, one can only hope, right? That's, that's all I could ask for at this point. I do have many other projects going on intermittently and you know, kind of on the side at the same time. So thank you for everybody that's shown love to some of those. I've made some pretty interesting things, I think at least, and uh, you know, I, I think other people do as well, given how fast this channel is growing. I can only give you my fullest thanks for everybody that's liked and commented and subscribed. I mean, it's, I've only been doing this for a month and we're at 200 subscribers now. You know, obviously I never got into this to make it a, you know, a business. This is just me documenting what makes me happy. I don't think there's that big of a, of a addressable market for windmill content on YouTube anyway, but it, it does make me very happy that everybody in, seems to enjoy what I'm making. Wow, I did not think that I would have it done this quickly. I was possessed by a windmill ghost tonight and I finished it. <laughs> it looks kind of cute. I mean, it looks, it definitely looks a lot less finished than the other ones. Like I don't really like the aesthetics, but in terms of working like a windmill, I bet if there was any wind at all tonight, I bet it would actually be doing pretty well. I, I don't know, man. I don't, I'm kind of confused what to think right now. I would love some input from the comments because I'm kind of at a place with it where it's like I did, I've done a lot of different things recently. I don't know. I, I, I'm having trouble deciding if foam is the move. You know, because I don't, it seems wrong, but at, this, at the same time, it's like, but if it works, you know, why shouldn't I use foam? I don't know, man. I would love to know what you guys think about this and what I should try if I have not already. I'll probably, I don't like the choppy square Minecraft vein. I'll probably look at them go. It only takes, I mean, it takes a really gentle pre breeze to get this thing going. So I was right on that aspect. It turns out that physics did not lie. Isaac Newton's credibility stands the test of windmills. Unfortunately, my grief just continues. I was going to save some of these windmills that have just been sitting outside forever and maybe do some uh, windmill vandalism by putting up windmills just in random places. But unfortunately, windmill 20 version one broke. So we'll just be throwing him away. I don't think I'm gonna keep these boards because they're like rotten now. So I had Foam Boy up for all of probably 10 minutes before I noticed that uh, he was spinning, but well, no, he wasn't spinning. The vane was moving, but the turbine wasn't spinning. So I, I think it's the bearings of the hub, I think are going bad. Well, actually not the bearings themselves, but the hub has had some problems since I first designed it. So I think it's probably, I've been waiting to do a reprint forever, but I keep changing little tiny things here and there every couple days. So I keep holding it off because I don't want to, you know, finalize something that I know that I'm going to change. But I think now there's no other choice. I need to finally do that. So probably tomorrow I'll have that one. So anyway, this is the real end of the video now. I will probably do a speed test and document some power readings pretty soon. So if you want to see more of that, subscribe. And thank you and have a wonderful night. Oh, and have a wonderful night.